These are the important Gmail features na kailangan mong matutunan if you want to become a successful um, virtual assistant. So, ito yung pinaka-basic. Isa sa mga sinabi ko, um, di ba, na dapat ang importante, unang-unan yung matutunan if wala ka yung experience sa pagiging isang virtual assistant is to learn how to use Google Workspace. At isang feature or isang tool sa Google Workspace is Gmail. So, these are the features that you need to learn sa Gmail bago, or if you're exploring how to become a virtual assistant. First feature is of course to write a professional email. Hindi lang pwede yung basa-basang hey, what's up na email yung isusulat niyo like or kunyari hello o kaya dear Ate Charo. Ito ang nararamdaman ko today. Hindi siya ganon. So you need to have or you need to learn how to write a professional email. Merong different parts of a professional email like yung greeting, closing, body, call to action, um, yung mga ganyan. So those are the things that you need to learn um, or unang-unang kailangan mong malaman kasi you will be talking to a lot of executives, business owners, yung colleagues mo when you start becoming a virtual assistant. Next is you need to learn how to attach from the local drive. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng local drive? Yung PC mo, yung memory ng PC mo. Um, kung saan nasa-save yung mga documents na inattach mo or dinownload mo or gumawa ka ng Word o kaya Excel file yan. So yun yung mga documents that you attach. So there are different types of ways to attach kasi sa Gmail and isa is attaching from your local drive and then another one is attaching naman from Google Drive remember Gmail and Google Drive is all in Google Workspace or yung Google environment, yun ba yung tawag dun? but it's all in Google Workspace so make sure that you know how to attach um, in those two different ways attaching from local drive and then attach documents from Google Drive Next thing that you need to learn or yung feature is how to use hyperlinks. Ano ba yung mga hyperlinks? Di ba kapag may mga website tayo na gustong i-attach sa email, minsan kinakapin natin yung URL tapos yung buong email or yung buong URL yung kinakapin natin. Minsan sobrang haba. So we use what we call hyperlinks. Ibig sabihin, you use a word. Kunyari, link here. And then, i-highlight mo yung link here. And then, you will use the hyperlink feature. Tapos, i-attach mo yung mismong link or yung URL or website address. And then, ang lalabas lang doon sa email is link here. Tapos, parang naka-blue font siya. Tapos, i-click yun. Bubuksan, bubukas na yung email. It looks more professional kasi and very clean instead of copying the whole URL or website address. So you must know how to use hyperlinks. Next feature naman is creating templates. So if you are working with a client na kailangan pa ulit-ulit yung messages mo or may mga pinapadala ka yung mga usual replies, yung mga yung ganyan, uh, may mga usual attachment or pare-pareho lang yung message, instead of typing it all the time or isa-save mo sa notepad or isa-save mo sa Excel sheet or sa Word tapos ikakapipaste mo, you can create templates. All you have to do is click on a few clicks sa email or sa Gmail and then it will automatically um, copy na or populate yung message or yung yeah, yung recurring message that you always send out. So alam niyo how to use templates or create templates. Next feature you need to learn is create labels. Dati nung Yahoo pa ang ginagamit natin or kadalasan I think yung sinauna Outlook. Yung Outlook pa rin naman ginagamit pa rin naman ngayon. Ang alam natin doon is folders. Sa Gmail naman you create labels. Take note ang labels sa Gmail is two things. <laughs> Hindi lang siya parang may dalawang feature yung labels. It can be labeled in a folder. Yung parang mapupunta talaga siya doon sa isang sa isang box or folder na label. Or it can remain in your inbox or main inbox na nakalabel siya. That's why it's called labels. So you have to figure out or you have to learn how to use and optimize yung paggamit ng labels. Next thing is filters naman. Ang ibig sabihin naman ng filters is binibigyan mo ng rules. Sa MS Outlook or sa Outlook, yeah, Outlook email, ang tawag doon rules. So binibigyan mo ng rules or ina-assign mo ng rules yung Gmail account saying na if naka-receive siya ng email 
dito sa email address na to, mapupunta siya automatically sa ganitong label or matatag siya agad sa ganitong label or madedelete siya agad or mako-forward siya agad sa ibang email address. So you have to find out yung filter. Filter is very important especially when it comes to reaching inbox zero. Yung dalawa na yan, filter and labels are very important features um, to reach inbox zero. The inbox zero is a skill na kailangan matutunan mong gawin um, if you want to become an executive virtual assistant. And using labels and filters will definitely make it easier for you and automate the whole process of reaching inbox zero. Next feature that you need to find out is yung schedule send. Yung schedule send naman is for example, magsisend out ka ng mga reminders. Pero isesend mo siya next week pa. Pero yun naman, alam mo naman ako na isusulat mo, pero next week mo pa siya isesend. Instead of setting an alarm, na, or ilalagay mo sa calendar mo, reminder, send this email, pwede mo na siyang schedule send sa email itself or sa Gmail. Gagawa ka na ng actual email, tapos ilalagay mo schedule send to a specific date and time and time zone. This is very useful for sending out birthday greetings, anniversaries, reminders before a meeting, yung mga ganyan. Schedule send is a very nice tool also to make things easier for you and to automate or to help you automate things in terms of inbox management. All of these things here are just the basic one. Dito ka pwede magsimula, especially if you're just starting and learning how to become a virtual assistant. Marami pang features ang Gmail na definitely will help us in our work as VAs or executive VAs. I do have an online course discussing or doing teaching tutorials about all of these features and more. Um, you can just click the link in my bio to enroll in my, in my paid online course. But you can also check out my YT content or join my free learning center. Everything will be in the link in my bio. If naman feeling mo ready ka na, alam mo na kung parang gumamit ng Google Workspace, then why don't you apply here in Athena? Just click the link in my bio and look for apply here. If you want to learn more about how to become a virtual assistant, executive virtual assistant, and more tutorials like this, I will be posting more content like this in the next few days. Um, we're trying to diversify our portfolio here on TikTok. So make sure that you follow me here on TikTok and all of my other social media to find out more or to learn more and see more content, tutorial contents like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today.